What's going on everybody, Deacon here. And I know I've been talking about doing this video for quite some time. Now I know some wonder, what do I see when I look in the mirror? Now growing up, I really didn't pay too much attention to my skin complexion because when you grow up around people who are the same shade or you know a few other shades lighter than you, I really didn't pay that much attention to it. To be honest, I never really wanted to be anything else other than who I was except for one time in my life. And that's when I was a kid, I used to see these hair cuttery commercials. I said out loud one time, man, I wish I was white just so I could go to hair cuttery. But my mom was around at the time, and let's just say after what she said, I never wanted to be any other race or ethnicity since that day. But I can't repeat what she said though. And then when I started writing this out, looking back, I realized that the only reason why I had an issue with my skin complexion, it wasn't because of the media, it wasn't because somebody called me ugly or anything like that, it was other kids. Back in elementary school, middle school, high school, we used to make jokes, pick on each other, and joan on each other. See, when you hear jokes like, boy, you're so black that when you get out the car, the check oil light comes on. And my personal favorite, boy, you're so black that if I threw salt on you, you'll look like the sky at night. It's okay, you can laugh. I laughed too now. It was funny. Outside of that, there was never a time where I looked in the mirror and said that I hate what I see in the mirror. It was more so I wish I was just a little bit lighter just so the jokes that they make, they couldn't make them. Now I can admit that I was totally oblivious to this whole light skin versus dark skin thing in the black community. I really didn't pay too much attention to it, primarily because my dad told me that as a black man, you were gonna have obstacles, you were gonna have to deal with certain type of stereotypes, just things like that. So I never really paid attention beyond that until one weekend when I went to my mother's house and she was explaining to me how it was this whole light skin versus dark skin thing, especially in her high school. And she pointed out to me that it was agenda in the media to try to pit one another against each other. And that's similar to kind of what I read in the Woody Lynch letters, but I didn't learn about even that part until I became an adult. But she used two Anita Baker album covers and how she showed on one, she was a little bit darker, but then on another album cover, they made her much lighter. And just talk about that basically that the, the lighter you were and the closer you were to European features, you were supposed to be prettier, while the darker you were, that you were supposed to be uglier. So even after she explained that to me, I was thinking to myself like, man, that is crazy. But because I didn't personally experience it myself, I didn't think any more of it beyond that because one of my best friends was light skinned and we never made a big deal about it. That was until I went to a graduation party he had. And back in those days, you didn't have, you know, FaceTiming and stuff where you could see people's, you know, face. So you just had three-way calling. So it was a girl that he was talking to at the time. And then when we finally saw each other face to face, she said, Oh. So you're Kevin. I thought that you were going to be brown skinned with hazel eyes. You know, I picture you, you know, a lot differently from what I heard from your voice. I'm thinking, okay, well, sorry to disappoint you and just went on about my day. I didn't think nothing else about it. Therefore, even though I still had small insecurities about my dark skin, I never let it affect how I was going to be perceived in public because I knew when it all boiled down to everything, it came down to specifically my attitude and how I carried myself. So when I found out that it was a decade when the dark skinned brothers were back and they were in, I'll admit I started walking into places like, am I the meanest? Show sure now. Am I the prettiest? Show sure now. Am I the baddest mofo low down around this town? Show sure now. <laughs> So therefore, I wasn't going to let what I thought about my appearance get in the way because I knew it was going to primarily be how do I treat the ladies, how do I act around the ladies, and it's those things that are going to make me more attractive regardless of whatever shade of black man she was into. So then when I fast forward to my five years from now video, after I watched that video myself, I said to myself, you know what, I'm completely confident in my complexion. So now when I show this picture here. When I look at this picture, it's amazing because I imagine how I would have looked at it 10, 15 years ago, how my youngest daughter, and when she was in preschool, she went out of her way to get a darker shade of construction paper to make my complexion instead of just making it match that we all look brown. But you know what? It doesn't bother me. Primarily what I'm trying to say with this video is yes, I acknowledge the fact that they had this foolishness with light skin versus dark skin for a very long time. And it's even still going on to this day. It, it, it's crazy. But 
I want you to know, regardless of whether you're light, brown, or dark skin, regardless of your race or ethnicity or what region you're from, do like I had to do. Not only love the skin that you're in, but also love the complexion that comes with it. Yes, there will be people with biases. Yes, there will be people with preferences. Yes, in the media, they're gonna portray that beauty looks like this instead of like that. But you can't worry about what other people think. Once you get past worrying about what other people think of you and how they see you, you'll be able to love yourself and embrace who you are, which attracts the person that you're truly looking for. Because if you're always thinking negative or complaining about something, whether it's you know how your hair looks, you know how your eyes, skin complexion or whatever somebody who may truly be interested in you that will be more of a turn off than just your external features what you have internally makes you more attractive than what you have externally now don't get me wrong you still want to be attracted to whoever you're talking to but the answer to the question that i asked when i started this video what do i see when i look in the mirror i see a man that needs to lose some weight uh, seriously, I need to hit the gym. But that's all I have for you guys this week. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, be wise. And until I see you guys next time, have a great weekend.